Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, April 15th, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, it's Patch Tuesday. Microsoft released updates fixing 113 vulnerabilities today. A little bit more interesting than last month in the sense that we do have three vulnerabilities that are being patched here that already had been exploited in the wild. Two of them were reported by Google's Project Zero and these two vulnerabilities, that's CVE 2020, 1020, as well as 0938. These are remote code execution vulnerabilities in the Adobe Font Manager library. So similar to the vulnerability that sort of caused so much uh, excitement last month, uh, the font library vulnerability that then had to be patched a couple days after the official patch Tuesday. The third one, well, uh, yet another scripting vulnerability in Internet Explorer 2020-0968. Now, two of these vulnerabilities had been disclosed publicly in the past. The first one, the Adobe vulnerability, and then CVE 2020-0935 also has already been publicly disclosed. CVE 2020-0935 is a OneDrive privilege escalation vulnerability, so not quite as critical as these remote code execution vulnerabilities, which is why it only got a rating of important. Adobe released updates for three different products today, Adobe Cold Fusion, Adobe After Effects, and Adobe Digital Editions. The one that I always sort of look at closer are the Cold Fusion vulnerabilities. They have caused a lot of problems in the past. This set doesn't look that uh, severe. The severity is only rated as important. It's mostly denial of service and privilege escalation vulnerability. There is a system file structure disclosure vulnerability, which again could leak information and help an attacker exploit other vulnerabilities, but overall nothing really terribly critical here. And Microsoft also announced that it will extend the end of life for Windows 10 version 1709 as well as 1809. These versions of Windows 10 were supposed to be end of life today, April 14th, but they will now receive support until October 13th. So October's patch Tuesday. Now the Windows Server version 1809, that's data center standard. It was supposed to expire May 12th. It will now receive support until November 10th. In addition, other systems like SharePoint, Dynamics and such also got extended end of life deadlines. Now, one of the most dangerous attacks, of course, is if an attacker gains persistence to a system by actually modifying the bias. And there have been a number of approaches to secure the bias. Dell now is getting sort of into this game and offering what it calls a safe bias. And now how it exactly works, uh, they don't say that in the press release and they haven't really seen any details from third parties or such, but apparently it will also look for bias configuration changes. So not just sort of invalid patches or modifications to the bias itself. Of course, there are a number of other technologies like this that are available from different manufacturers like HP has their Sure Start and Microsoft has the secured core PCs. Also, Apple for its systems has systems to monitor the bias or firmware or well also uefi not actually sure if dell's safe bias will work with uefi but often sort of uefi is kind of mixed in with the term bias so it could cover both well, and that's it for today. If you have a minute today, please leave some good comments in your favorite podcast platform, YouTube, uh, iTunes, uh, whatever you're using to listen uh, to this podcast. And it's always available also via Amazon's Alexa as part of your Flash briefing. That's it. Thanks for listening. Talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.